Well, here I am with Justin Pran, General Manager of Pandora's hey, European Motorsports. Hey, Justin. Uh, we're talking adventure bikes today, yes. so uh, we, this is this is quite a highlight. Uh, take us through this one, man. This is the, the Italian version of the, the BMW R1200 GS Adventure. This is the BMW, or the Ducati Multistrada Enduro. Yeah, and it's a 1200 as well. It's a 1200. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, this bike is, is 150 plus as far as the horsepower range. 90 degree twin, so it delivers the power very differently from the BMW. Okay. Uh, it rides very differently from the BMW. Okay. So I would I wouldn't be shy to do anything that I would do with that other bike. Well, we were talking earlier, and and, and of course you were talking about road course. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. This, this bike, I wouldn't I wouldn't be shy about going to a track day. Yeah. And this bike is is very capable. Uh, the riding position is going to be similar. Uh -huh. uh, the the one thing that. People, a lot of people add to the, the other bikes, the other brands, is they add rocks riders and bar riders, whereas this bike, it's pretty much already there. Okay, you can tell so it comes from, stock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. you can tell from the height, just uh -huh. being on the center stand, how yeah. tall these bars are. Yeah. And that equates to being comfortable when you're standing on the pegs. Sure. Uh, this bike, we do have some accessories on this bike. We've got the panniers on the rear, which mm -hmm. are the panniers. Mm -hmm. Uh, then we've got the, uh, the little gun case up here, up on the bars. And you said all of, all of them are, are, are going to come stock equipped to be able to add the add the uh, the structure and then the bags okay same thing with a with a trunk bag top yes, bag okay absolutely awesome well, you said it it it, uh, it distributes the power differently than the BMW yeah, elaborate it's, just it's, a little bit it's going to have a lot of mid-range hit uh, this bike is going to be it's going to be like being shot out of a slingshot i mean okay. the power is going to be it'll, it'll take your breath away but yeah, it's very manageable. The but bike. the one thing I like about sitting up a little higher is long distances, especially, you know, uh, and I hate to say an older rider like me, but, but that you know, let's look at reality. The ergonomics are very, very comfortable. So you wouldn't hesitate to go cross country on Absolutely this bike. Yeah. yeah, it's a very approachable bike. It's got good road manners. Uh, it's great on fuel economy. It has an oversized fuel tank, just like the other mm -hmm. large displacement adventure bikes. Mm -hmm. It has fog lamps on it. I mean, this bike is, is set up and we've got uh i think two of these yeah we were talking the the led the headlight configuration yes. on the other one that's really really cool huh yeah Ma meant to be seen too okay so this is a 16. Ooh, a 16. like that just a nice little attention oh, to detail touches. yeah just with super all, as with all the cottages, well i was gonna say that they, they they really do set themselves apart they a little do. bit and the from, racing heritage is, yeah. is visible in every single ducati it doesn't yeah. matter if it's an adventure bike or if it's a scrambler i mean it looks like something that has a touch of race history in it absolutely thanks justin we've got uh, a couple of these to choose from of course 17s are coming in you mentioned absolutely. that the, there's not a lot of changes to the 17 so uh gonna have color color changes but uh, that performance is still there absolutely thanks again thank you